Today's topic will be on the Penang people of Sarawak who are in serious danger. But first, let me give you a little background. The Penang are located in Southeast Asia, Malaysia in the state of Sarawak. Their surrounding environment is filled with a dense rainforest with plenty of wildlife. The Penang live mostly naked. The four men, specifically a piece of fabric around their waist. The men pierce their ears, wear flat round jewels, stretching their earlobe until they are able to wear decorative so big that they reach their shoulders. The women prefer to wear little but a piece of cloth wrapped around their body. They too also wear ear decoratives. The Penang people build their houses above the ground, often on stilts. The roofs are made out of giant palm leaves. They also weave mats out of fibers for the walls and the floor. This means that when it is hot and humid and a breeze comes through, the air inside will be much cooler. The Penang mainly use blowflies to hunt down their prey. They dip their darts in a poison to kill the animal effectively when they hunt. Their blowpipes are made from hard pieces of wood. A hole is driven through the middle by a long metal bar with a tip. These blowpipes can range up to 6 feet and are called kelaput. The darts that accompany it are made of palm fronds and a lightweight stopper is added to make the darts airtight. The poison is made by a male key latex extracted from tajan tree and heated over the fire. Attached to the blowpipe is a metal spear head, f uh, head for close range. It is connected by a rattan and rubber raisin. This is used to defend themselves and to finish off injured prey. The weapons they use are meant for tight and dense areas, not needing much movement. You definitely don't want to be on the wrong side of those. The question is why? Why are these people in danger and what from? In order to know this, we must cover four aspects. Economics, social, environmental, and last but not least, political. First, let's start off with the politics. The Sarawak state government does not recognize the penance rights to their land, according to Survival International. The government in Sarawak refuses the own refuses the ownership of the land to the penance people because of profit. They will, if they were to hand over the ownership of the land to the Penang people, they would not be able to exploit the riches of the land as well as build more infrastructure. Infrastructure such as hydroelectric dams uh, and palm oils plantations. With this, other problems begin to arise. Next, the economic cost. With large trees being cleared away to clear the air for open land, which is then used to construct palm oil plantations, this is a project which is meant for exploiting the rich ground of the rainforest with the intention of greater income benefit. This is especially common when Malaysia is the world's largest supply for palm oil. Not only that, but the dams are intended to attract foreign industries with the amount of cheap energy produced. The Sarawak government, who have identified 150 potential hydroelectric dams, some of which 12 of them situated in Penang people's lands, have already been begun to be planned and built. This happens because the amount of potential riches in the rainforest has to offer with these 
happenings, this will cause the independent people who do not have money, but rather have to depend on main forces to either slowly die or flee their home. And I quote from Azim Nusrat, a reporter, all the value trees have been cut down. The companies have started to remove the forest completely for all oil plantations. Environmental. There is still more, not only with the environmental aspect. With no recognition from the Sarek government, loggers and poachers can enter the area, harvest resources, leaving the forest with less resources, therefore depriving the tribe from food and materials needed to survive. This is happening because the land in which the Penang tribe is living on is a rainforest which is rich with thick trees and due to the fact that the government does not recognize the ownership of the land to the Penang people, the loggers can enter the area and begin chopping down trees with ease because according to law, this is legal. With the tribe deprived of one Rich, abundant rainforest, causing them to starve as animals, flee the, uh, causing them to starve as the animals flee the area, and fruits and berries are cut down. Not only that, but the Panak tribe will not have enough materials to maintain their hunting equipment, therefore making hunts less successful. But that is not all. With the logging companies cutting down the rainforest, the Panak people are faced with the serious issue of. Un able to sustain themselves. When the companies cut down the trees, this causes the pattern people to lose walking trails that have been used by generations and generations. The loss of trails, the pattern people are unable to navigate their way through the rainforest with ease. Being as it is that the government the environment has changed. This will then cause the pattern people to perhaps una be unable to find popular hunting sites, or find their way back easily after food gatherings. This is a serious issue as it will lead Panama people into famine and poverty. But how does this all affect Panama's social life? With First of all, with the hydroelectric dams that are being built, in this picture you can see that just one dam is estimated that the area of flooding is caused is approximately the land of is, uh, area of Singapore. One dam has already displaced 10,000 native people, not to mention that several more communities will also be engulfed, displacing at least 1,000 more people. Due to logging the Penang people's land, the Penang people have risen up and already begin protesting. They have cut down trees to barricade pathways in which logging companies have built until now. Parent people have not resorted to violence, even so, they are victims of violence in their struggle to survive. The Panam people, after living peacefully such such a long time, are now faced with the death threat from logging companies. Not only that, but some have been accused of raping Panam girls and women. With all these threats, the Panam people's social life have been greatly disturbed, not, no doubt living in fear of the logging companies as well as the great psychological effects upon them. This is all happening because the logging companies are backed up by the government.